What's the word? It's words illa, aka Drew Skills, aka ill doing it too. And this is the Words Illa podcast. Today, I'm joined by my brother, my good friend, CMP, aka Curtis, if you know him. So, yo, 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 what's going on? Yeah, yeah. So, um, man, it's it's a uh, it's a kind of spur of the moment kind of moment to just do this where. The information for us has just come in that the rapper uh, XXX Tentacion has uh, he's been he's been murdered at 20 years old, sitting in his car at Flo- in Florida. You know it 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 just kind of sparked a moment for us to kind of sit and I, I asked Curtis if he wanted to sit and just have a discussion real quick about how how do we feel really about the fact that. These kids are out here crying. They're crying, and and they want somebody to listen and understand them. And I feel like it's falling on so many deaf ears. And those deaf ears are a lot of these elders, the older people that you know should be the ones guiding these kids and helping them understand what this is and what's going on around them. You know, we have to be the first ones to be aware of how crazy this is and how fast life is moving because you know we got the chance to see it before it became what this is where we're so connected you know we 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 came from a generation where we went outside a lot you know Hmm. we didn't and we didn't have connection unless it was usually at school or other events about school or sports that we were involved in or whatever but beyond that you know our closest connection was a telephone call you know and Somebody in early days of the internet, we had dial up, so you couldn't even get through to the phone. And then, even all the stuff they had was so primitive at the time that you know, we didn't have this, this instant contact, this constant contact where it seems like it's unhealthy, you know. So, really, the thing I wanted to know that's why I asked Curtis to, to do this was you know, he's got a, he's got a son. You know, he's got a son who, who messaged him and told him about this whole event. So I kind of wanted to know from his perspective how he felt when he's got his son who is just becoming a teenager, you know, seeing this type of stuff happening to the artist that he really champions for, that he really likes. He listens to his music a lot. and. He really believes in the things he says. And from the things I could see on social media from XXX, I could see he was a smart kid, you know. Yeah. Maybe he had a lot of things that happened to him, but he was he was, he was was a good kid, you know. I think he was dealt a bad hand, and he was in some situations where he didn't have enough people around him to give him some good advice. But, you know, I kind of wanted to know how you felt and, like, how when you got that message, like, what, what was the first thing that you kind of thought of when you heard when you saw that I mean I mean of course you know I I had found out before you know before my son had actually told me oh okay and uh but it was but it was funny because not funny you know not funny because you know obviously it's nothing funny about this situation right but it was funny because I was uh actually with my you know a friend of mine at school and I was like watch this man look my son's probably gonna text me within the next 30 minutes to tell me, and um, and that's exactly what happened, you know, and uh, and it's it's just it, it bothers me because of the simple fact that, like you said, you know, a lot of this younger generation, especially you know, especially artists like him, you know, like like X, where his his music dealt with a lot of depression and dealt with you know a lot of things that he went through, as you know, as far as you know, breakups and. You know, I, I want to say, and I'm not sure, but I want to say, you know, he lost some friends to, to violence, and and uh, it's it's crazy. You know, like I said, it just it just it's weird to me because no, not weird, but the fact that my son, you know, my son listens to it, and and I know he doesn't really really relate to him. Because I, you know, on, only the only thing that my son has ever really experienced is the fact that me and his mother are not together anymore. But you know, other than that, but he doesn't really experience. But 
with him telling me that, I only can imagine, you know, what the rest of the, you know, kids his age that are actually going through that, you know, you know, maybe growing up in a one parent home or, you know, or, or seeing violence every day. You know, I'm pretty sure it struck them very, 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 you know, to to the core, you know, to the core. And it's it's sad that it takes something like this for my generation to realize that a lot of these kids out here do need guidance. And they do need, you know, they need a, sometimes a shoulder to cry on or somebody to vent to or, or whatever it may be. And that's why with my son, you know, with my son... I tell him anything he wants to talk about, we can talk about it. I don't care how how uncomfortable it may be to me, but you know, but I feel like if he can't come to me, who can he come to? And that's just at that's at the end of the day, that's basically what it is, you know. And I'm not knocking, you know, I'm not knocking, you know, parents because I don't know y'all, you know, other family situations. You know, it might be a single mother out there that's working two jobs to provide for her kids or vice versa. You know, a man that's out there working two or three jobs to provide for his kids. So maybe they don't have the time to really be in their kids lives like, you know, like they need to because they're so busy trying to provide, keep a roof over their head or lights on and whatnot. But and I understand that. But even with me, you know, at one point I was working two jobs, I was working three jobs. But I still made it, you know, I still made it a point to make sure my son, you know, make sure my son was good or make sure he was on his P's and Q's because, like I said, without me, who can he talk to? And and I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure that, like I said, that probably struck him because one of the, the, um, the message that he um, sent me was, you know, he said, Dad, you know, S got shot. I said, yeah, I know. And um, I said, it's crazy. And he texts me. And after that, he goes, that's it for this generation. And I said, what do you mean by that? He said, Dad, that's it for this generation. And it's just crazy because, see, my son, you know, my son's only 12 years old. And for him to say that's it for this generation, that means a lot of kids were actually looking up to X. And trying to learn from his mistakes so when you see so when you see something like this tragic happen with him only being 20 years old and the platform that he's already set for himself it's it's just it's mind-boggling you know it's it's just the the words is you know it's just crazy and you know the fact that my son is you know my son has actually just moved away so I don't have, you know, I don't have the, the physical contact with him like I used to. Yeah, I can talk to him on the phone. I can FaceTime him and all of that. But I don't have that physical contact with him. And that just, you know what I'm saying, that that hit me, that that touched me to my core. So I, like I said, I only can imagine with a, a lot of these other kids out here that are his age and younger that, you know, are going through. They probably, you know, they probably feeling like, well, dang, you know, I just lost my, I just lost my role model. And... A lot of kids nowadays, they don't have a lot of people to look up to because us, you know, us as, as, you know, me, me and Drew Skills, our generation, you know, we, we, we don't mean to be this way, but we frown, we frown upon a lot of this new modern music only because of what we were, you know, the music that we grew up on and, and the influences that we had. Yeah, it's, it's created a different mode that we've we've gone gone into where we're we're not looking at each other as far as older and younger as just being in a different time in our lives that it makes sense for you to have those feelings at different points in your life you know but we have to understand as being older that we can see a lot of this stuff before it's coming for them yeah you know? And it's been said to us, like, it's unfortunate that it takes for you to get older to sometimes realize that a lot of the things that your parents and, and the elders around you were telling you were to for you to, to understand, like, you need to know this information so you can try to get a one-up before these things take control yep. of you, before they, yep. they take you down a path that will lead to you yep. to go into a bad place. But, you know, 
it's hard for us to see it because we're so close to it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, we just don't want to believe that things can be as bad as they really are. You know, yeah. It, yeah. It, we, we like to try to downplay things to comfort ourselves. But, you know, again, it is sad that it kind of takes this to happen especially for it to just be because it's somebody high profile now there's obviously been so many different situations mm -hmm. that have happened over the the last even just the last six months you know but we have to really start realizing if we don't take control of what's happening to the youth around us we're going to suffer the consequences as well like it doesn't affect just them it affects us all so if we're not taking the proper actions to start making the changes and having these discussions and allowing these children to have these discussions it, it's gonna hurt us it's gonna hurt us all because yeah. because we're leaving them in a place that's worse than what we're in already so we need to be honest and be open and hear what they're saying in that their music may not be what we like. It may not. They may not say or act or wear the same things that we did or whatever. But that's irregardless to the fact that they have the right. They have the human right yep. to live their lives and be able to experience all that they know and, and mm -hmm. to see what's going on around them in a real way. And and if we don't, we're we're all gonna suffer. So. I think it's necessary for us to start really being the, the example we want to see. You know, if we're older and we can see things happening, to not just say it, but to really get around some of the youth mm -hmm. and, and like be around them enough if, and, and let them know, like, look, man, I'm telling you this because I really hope that you can understand that you have so much potential and you can be so much greater and you can do so much more. So again this this whole idea behind doing this episode was really just to, to vent for a minute yeah. and to to discuss a little bit about how it is we can start making these things happen that we really know can happen if we want it to happen we can do it yeah because everything else we wanted to do we've done it every mm. other chance you got you 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 made you know snide remarks and, and, and made uh -huh. fun of these things that were taking place not taking the time to really dig into what it is that's, that's causing these people to do the things that they're doing. You know, we got to have these discussions. And the fact that we're so much more connected than ever, this should be our this should be our wake-up call. Yeah. Man. Not not this moment with with the death of this young just man, in general. but just in general that we need to be here in the moment and live and and really take control when we have our chances when something is presented to us and we can do something, do it. Yep. Take that opportunity, yep. wherever it is, whatever happens, even if there's not something you think is an opportunity. Sometimes maybe maybe just talk to somebody, a stranger, just for no mm -hmm. reason, and and ask a question, even if they look at you crazy. How you been today? What's been going on? You all right? You know, those little things, you don't know how much that can really mean to somebody. Yeah. So I hope that we all can start to be a little bit more honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm be a little bit more open, be a little bit more vulnerable yeah. and start talk about the things that, that bother us and the things mm -hmm. that we don't understand and the things that we wish that we could understand. You know, it'll help us all. Yeah. So in closing, you know what it is. It's your boy or it's Ella. I'm here with my man, CMP. It's the Where's Ella podcast. Y'all stay tuned. I got a lot more going on, man. It's definitely going to be a lot more about just hip hop and life. And, and as many different topics as y'all can think of. So y'all, make sure y'all hit me up at WordsIlla on Instagram. That's W-E-R-D-S-I-L-L-A-H. That's also the same on Facebook. CMP Curtis, tell, tell them where they can hit you up at if they want to follow you or to find you. Um, if y'all want to follow me, y'all can, you know, hit me up on uh, Facebook, Curtis Phillips, uh, Instagram, GrownMan84. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um before I sign before we sign off, I just gotta leave you with one message. Be better, be better than what you was today, tomorrow. That's be right. great. Peace and love. Alright, man, y'all. Y'all know what it is. It's the Words of the Podcast. Y'all be safe out there. Peace. <laughs>